Welcome back to another episode of BSPN. We did shoot this live on our Instagram, but tonight we are going to cover the Iron Games, Romania, and Texas Pro. So if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe, like, and comment. I do look at all of those comments and base our next live feed on your feedback. So please give us that feedback below and also comment and let me know what you think about our analysis of these shows. Let's get to it. And as everybody is logging on, if you would like to work with me, suitsandposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing, all of the fun stuff when it comes to competing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'll give my little spiel while you guys are getting logged on here too. Uh, we do have live stream tickets available for Cuties Conquering the Stage. So there are there's a link in, the, in our bio here to go ahead and purchase those. We'll go ahead and get into the weekend show wrap-ups. So... Uh, there was three pro shows this weekend. There was Romania, there was Texas, and there was Iron Games. So we're going to go Romania first, then Texas, then Iron Games last. All right? So um, not a whole lot of surprises across the board this weekend, to be honest with you. So uh, Romania, uh, Ashley Kaltwasser did win. Uh, that was her 30th win, which does make her the most winningest pro in IFBB history. Um, so that was her 30th win, and frankly, she won it hands down. Um, not even, not even close. Um, I, I mean, I can, I can be honest when I see things like that. And I mean, she won it hands down. Now, this is a good thing. Um, and also like something that people need to need to pay attention to. Uh, there's a few people that, that are, you know, part of the European, uh, group over there that I talk to a lot and I tell them all the time, like the girls that compete in Europe, would be really well served to come here to the States and compete because they can get in front of the judges here and understand the criteria a little bit better. Now we do send our IPB judges from the States over to Europe to judge and everything as well. But the, um, long story short, there's a split in the IPB a few years back. So the, the, the criteria over in Europe, is relatively new for a lot of these girls as far as what they have to hit, as far as what the criteria is here in the States. So a lot of times you'll see girls win European shows and then they'll come to the to the Olympia and not place at all because they just don't look the same as the girls here. Again, it's a criteria you have to fit into a box, right? So that's why you do see girls come here to the States to compete. Like Alessia competes here all the time because she wants to fit the, fit the criteria here. She's from Italy. Um, Ivana from Spain, you know, she came here, competed a lot before she got her pro win there in um, Allegiance. Phoebe, even though Phoebe won the Arnold UK, she knew she needed to get over here and get in front of the, the you know, next to the American girls in order to see what she needed to do to improve her physique to do well at the Olympia because she is qualified for the Olympia now. So, you know, all of those things, Ashley going over there and just winning it like hands down. I didn't see the scorecard, but I'm assuming it was probably a perfect score. Uh, shows the European girls really fast what they need to do in order to get closer to the criteria so they can do well when they get over here to the States and go into the Olympia and things like that. Now, I will also say that um, there was the one that I, the girl that I was most impressed with, I've actually never seen her before in this lineup, was the girl that took third. And that was Jessica Bruin. She, in my opinion, was closest to the criteria. Allison actually took second. Um, and she looked great, don't get me wrong. Um, Allison's just a little bit unbalanced. Um, her lower body is a little bit bigger than her upper body and some of her posing and stuff like that. And she tends to, she was actually a little bit too soft at this show. She was better a couple weeks ago. She's been keep competing nonstop. So I think Allison just needs to kind of put the brakes on, but I think it was smart for her to do this show and get next to Ashley. That was smart, but now she just needs to stop competing. Um, cause she is qualified for next year. Uh, but the girl that I was most impressed with actually in this top five lineup was that Jessica Bruin. She took third, uh, really good shape from both the front and the back just needs a little bit of refinement. Um, and she could actually do very, very well. Uh, I could see her qualifying for the Olympia this year. And again, just like I said, I would recommend if she wants to be competitive, she probably wants to get over here to the States and try to compete over here a little bit. But, um, from the back, in my opinion, she was the one that compete that competed most with Ashley there on that stage. Um, and from the front, she just, just really needs a little bit of refinement, mostly in her posing to show her shape a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that would be my suggestion for her specifically if she wants to do well and wants to qualify for Olympia and all that kind of stuff. Um, cause I think she could do that definitely. 
Um, Jessica was amazing. She was absolutely. She was. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's Romania did again. It didn't really, wasn't a shock. <laughs> we kind of knew that was going to happen. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's always whenever you see shows like this that you need to have like learning moments from it and take lessons from it and things like that. So I think that that's a good lesson for a lot of the European girls that they want to do well. They need to see what the criteria is that they're actually being judged on. Um, and the head judge for this show, uh, for the women's portion was Becky Clausen. So like I said, they do take um, judges here from the States and take them over there to judge. So that was a really good measure of what these girls need to look like in order to do well in the pro league here when they get to Olympia stages and things like that, right? Um, so moving on from um, Romania, where is my thingy? There it is. We're going to go to Texas. Um, and just touch on Texas really quickly with figure. Jessica Reyes Padilla did win this. That was also my prediction. I assumed she would probably walk away with this win. Larhana came in second. Um, and then we had Autumn Cleveland in third, which is pretty much what I expected was going to happen. <laughs> so um, Jessica Reyes Padilla, I think this is now her third win since the Olympia. Um, so now she's, you know, she, I think she's trying to really cement herself up in that top three position at the Olympia. I believe she was like, was she fourth? I feel like she was was she four? I think she was fourth. She, I'm pretty sure she was fourth at the Olympia. She was either fourth or fifth, but she was up there. And I'm sure she's trying to get up there into that top three. So, you know, this is her way of doing it by winning show after show. Every show that she's went into since the Olympia, she has won it. So um, good on her for that. Um, then we move over to wellness. Um, again, wellness played out exactly how I said it was going to. <laughs> um, I predicted that Eurishna would win it, and she did. Um, Barbara came in second. Sunny came in third and Cassandra in fourth. Um, and, you know, across the board, it looks like these girls are trying to take their feedback that they've gotten from the Olympia and apply it. Um, I would say with Cassandra, she's a little bit too soft at this point. Um, she needs to, I, I, she needs to just, I don't know, she needs to kind of hit a reset button, probably get off stage for a little bit. Uh, looks a little tired, which happens when you're competing month after month after month, you know. So um, with her, I would say probably get off stage, you know, take whatever feedback she got at this particular show and apply it for, you know, next next year, springtime or something like that. That's what I would say with her. Fourth place is not bad, but she just looks like she needs a break. She looks like she needs a break. Um, Sunny. Sunny came in a lot harder than I've ever seen. Um she was told to soften up. Um, Cassandra was told to soften up at this show because at this show she looked, she looked, to me specifically where she looked soft was through the midsection. Um, so let me pull up her pictures really quickly. She looks a little blown out through the midsection. Um, let me pull up her picture real quick. One of them anyway. Yeah. Yeah, she looks, she looks soft here. So I don't know if she was told to, to soften up at, at this show because I would not soften up. Because here she looks a little bit, like I said, her, her red section looks a little bit soft. Um, even, yes, with Olympia and it's Sanitan. And, okay, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, I, she was soft here. She was definitely soft here at Texas. So um, she probably was listening to feedback. But again, it looks like she went a little too far to me. Um, where I always see that a, the, a physique looks tired is in the midsection. And to me, her, she looks tired here. Like, that's what I see in the midsection. So again, that's, this is her third show since the Olympia. You know what I mean? And it's not like she she was competing before that, too. So, you know, probably would do good for her to just take some time off, basically, and, and fix whatever she needs to fix, right? Um, so Sunny came in really hard. Um, she was too hard. Uh, and her lower body, to me, just looks like it's just overly muscled everywhere. Now, I know that that um, wellness is supposed to be bigger on the lower half. Totally get that. Absolutely. But you still have to have an aesthetic flow and um, balance to it. And to me, when I see her back shot, I just see muscle on muscle on muscle. <laughs> I mean, it's like big glutes, big hamstrings, big quads, just everything. It doesn't, again, it doesn't flow really well. So um, what I would suggest with her is that she just tries to kind of shape this a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, again, this is not a bad look for her. Uh, third is not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Waistline's nice and tight, all those kinds of things. She has an issue with the with the waistline because she's so small and her torso is so short. She does have to get really tiny into that waistline in order for her physique to flow well, or it just doesn't, it just doesn't flow well, right? So, um, I, I think she's trying to do that here. That's what it looks like to me, but it just looks like she went a little overboard with her conditioning. Um, and let me pull up one of her, 
front shot or quarter turns here. Let me look at her midsection here. Yeah, I mean, I, I see what she's trying to do, but again, I just think that I just think the conditioning was too much, um, and it just made her her lose a little bit of flow to her physique. So that's where, I, if I was her, I would be working on kind of shaping herself a little bit more specifically in the lower body. Um, I think if she just shapes that a little bit better, it's just going to flow together a little bit better as far as the aesthetics are concerned to her actual shape. Um, then when we move up, we've got Barbara. Barbara was in second. Um, I think Barbara looked phenomenal, uh, but Barbara's on the smaller side when it comes to uh, bonus competitors. So, like, like the the story of 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 Yurishna and Barbara is like polar opposites, right? So Barbara's a little bit on the small side, Yurishna's a little bit on the big side. So um, specifically from the back, Barbara's a little bit small uh, through her legs and through her glutes. Conditioning was nice at this show. Um, let me pull up one of her back shots here. From the front, she looks a little bit soft through the quads little bit, not a lot, a little bit. She's, she's good and tight through the waistline and all of that kind of stuff. Um, there's just a couple of shots where she looks like she has a little bit of water on her, on her quads there. Um, but let me see a back shot real quick. Let's see. I'm also not a huge fan of her, of her back pose. I feel like she's, it's almost like a bikini pose. It needs to be, it needs to be tweaked a little bit in her back pose. Uh, maybe bring her legs in a little bit. If she brought her legs in a little, like an inch, that would likely help to fill her out a little bit more. She just needs a little bit more size all over from the back, really. From the front, I think she's good. I think she's good from the front. But from the back, she lacks in her legs and lacks in her glutes a little. Um, and then, but I mean, I liked her conditioning, though. I thought her conditioning was was actually really good here at this show. Just like to see a little, a little bit more size from the back. Um... And then when we go to Yurishna, so Yurishna's issue is that I'm sure she's been told that she's too big and she needs to pull her muscularity down. Um, in the process, I think she got a little too soft. So she's playing this size and conditioning game right now. Um, and she's another one where her waistline looks a little bit distended. Uh, so likely she is trying to downplay her size by softening up a little bit. Um, Again, she needed to qualify for the Olympia, so she did that here. So, great. Awesome. She qualified for the Olympia. Um, definitely not, I wouldn't say this is her best look, but it's also not a bad look either. But specifically, when you look at her from the back, um, she's really lacking in the hamstring glute tie-in. So, she's definitely soft, and I think she probably did that, again, by design, because she is a little bit too much, too on the big side. So... Now she's got her Olympic qualifi qualification for next year. She's good. So what I would do if I was her at this point is get off stage and start trying to refine. Again, just like we talked about with, with Sunny. At this point, Eurasian has got to refine her shape, bring her shape down, bring her legs down a little bit, um, bring her waistline in a little bit, those kinds of things, and have her physique show a little bit better. Um, and she can do that. And then what I, what I would do if I was her is come back and try to defend my title at the New York Pro. That's what I would do. Um, you know, so she's got time to do that. Taking some muscle down and refining the, the, shame, the shape a little bit in a few months is absolutely doable. So that's, if I was her, that's what I would do. You know, again, she's good. She's qualified for the Olympia. I'm sure she wants to be up in the top three, if not win the Olympia next year. If she, that's probably her goal. You know what I mean? So I would take the time between now and, you know, New York Pro and try to refine the shape a bit, come back win the New York Pro again, that would be her goal. Um, she's doing Arnold in New York. See, that That makes sense. Arnold in New York makes sense. That makes complete sense. Yeah, the Arnold, and I forgot, yeah, the Arnold's going to be fun. The Arnold is a, is a whole new ball game there, too, so that's a big title to win, too. So it makes sense. I would do the Arnold if I was her, too. Um, and then, you know, like I said, keep refining. She can absolutely do that. She's got plenty of size. She doesn't need to put size on. She needs to take size off, you know? So that's a good, doable goal. So... You know, like I said, good move to get her Olympia qualification out of the way. She's done with that. Now let's start reshaping this frame so she can really fit the criteria and bump up into those top three spots at the Olympia, potentially win, potentially win the Arnold, right? Um, okay, so that was Texas. And we are going to go over to Iron Games next. Am I there? Yeah, okay. Okay, so Laura Lee won this one. 
Uh, again, not a surprise there. She just won Sacramento, so she just won Iron Games. Uh, big story of the weekend is she's now working with Kim Odo. Um, I think he'll be great for her. Kim is just a really, really sweet um, person and coach, and I think she'll be she'll be he'll be a good person to have her, have on her team on her side. Um, so she is working with Kim Odo. Um, I'm assuming he helped her kind of dial in for this show, uh, and she looked great. Um, you know, the last two shows that Laura Lee has done, I think, have been her best two shows. Um, that you know, really overall, like in general, it's been her best two shows. The last couple of last couple of shows. Um, I like that she's full, uh, but she's not overly full. She's nice and conditioned, but she's not overly conditioned. She's like right down the middle right now, which is great on her end. Um, and one of the things that I always look at with her is her waistline. If she diets down too much, you really see that rib cage start to poke out on her and you're starting to see it kind of fill out a little. Uh, which is good she's got a tiny waistline she doesn't need it to be you know any smaller she just needs to not look like it's sucked in quite so much and here is the one of like the last two shows really i can say is the first time i've, I've looked at her and been like okay her rib cage isn't poking out you know what i mean so that's good she's looking she's looking good and and i think at this point she's done for the year um if i was her i would be done for the year as well i'm assuming she'll probably come back to the arnold too um, you know, give herself a little bit of a break. It's been a tumultuous couple, a few months, you know what I mean? So she went out on a high note, won this show, looked phenomenal, that was great. Um, so let's go and talk about a few um, standouts and stuff. We're gonna start with, um, let me see, where did I go with that? A few of the things I wanted to mention here, hang on. We're gonna go from sixth place up, I believe is what I was gonna do. She looks really good, one of my favorites. Yeah, she looked really good at this show. Um, yes, so we're going to start off with sixth place and work our way up. So again, this show pretty much played out the way I thought it was going to play out. Um, I had predicted Laura Lee in first, um, Jessica Wilson in second. Now I'm going to mention this real quick. Jessica did not compete. Um, she's fine. I don't know if she's made public anything or whatever. So I'm just going to leave it at that and just say she's fine, but she didn't compete. So we're going to take her off. Um, so I had Lucia in, um, in third place. Lucia ended up in third. That's where she ended up. Um, what did I have fourth? I had Jennifer Ronziti in fourth and actually Jennifer Ronziti dropped to sixth. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, and then I had Alessia in fifth and Alessia did take fifth and I had Phoebe in sixth and Phoebe took fourth. So foot flat Phoebe and, and Jennifer Ronziti right there for the, those two, um, placings. So we're going to start with Jennifer, um, cause she took sixth. So again, the posing thing really was, um, one of the things that did hurt Jennifer in this particular show. Um, I did watch a little bit of live feed that was up on muscle contest and stuff when they were going through and she just has a... I guess a lack of the control on her on most of her poses, but mainly in her midsection. She has an issue with letting her letting her stomach go when she goes through transitions and things like that. Um, and that's what I really notice. Um, I really noticed it at the Olympia too. So if I was her, that's one of the things I would really be focusing on with my posing is making sure that you keep that that tummy tight the whole time so that it doesn't it doesn't pooch out at any point in time you're going through transitions. So after you see that weakness. Um, now, also, when you look at her frame, she looks a little bit blown out. Like, I don't know how to describe that. That's not the word I'm looking for. Um, she's conditioned, but it's almost like it's it's almost like she's spilling over a little bit. I don't really know how to I don't know how to describe it. Um, it just it she just doesn't look quite tight enough. Um, she is conditioned, so it's not the conditioning problem. I think it's just mass in general. Like, I think she needs to pull the muscularity down a little bit. Uh, because what it does is it's making her look blocky and it makes her look really thick from the back. Like this is almost in my opinion. Oh, and of course, as I'm going through the pictures, they say the page not found. That's great. But, um, in my opinion, it's almost like she's borderline wellness, right? Like her density of her muscle is a little bit too much. Uh, so it's almost like she needs to pull it all down just a little bit, right? I can relate to the tummy problem. Yes, you can. A lot of girls can. A lot of girls can relate to the tummy problem. So um, I was going to try and flip through her photos, but now NBC News is telling me that I can't go to back to that page. But um, when I was looking at her next to everybody else in like that top six, she looks a lot bigger and denser. And some of that, honestly, is from age. 
um, as you get older, you get more muscle maturity, which is going to create more dense muscle. Um, and she is 39 years old, you know, so she's been doing this for a minute. She's been really at the top of the game for a minute. You know what I mean? So at this point, she's created some dense muscle and that's hard to pull down. Right. So, but that's, I think that's kind of where she's at at this point. She needs to pull specifically like her waistline and her glutes just need to come down. Um, because the other part of it is that it makes her shoulders look smaller and her shoulders aren't small, but it's just because the rest of her is a little bit too big. Right. So if she could pull her waistline in and pull her glutes down just a little bit, she can bump back up into that top five. But I really think that's what hurt her here is that density of that muscle at this point. Um, so that's, that's going to be kind of a struggle at this point for her. Um, let me go to fifth place and that's Alessia. So same thing with Alessia when it comes to, um, density of muscle. Again, she's one of those ones you got to be careful about. She's got to, she, you got to fill her out. She gets really hard, really quick. Um, from the back, I thought she actually looked really good here at this show. From the front, I'm still not sold on this front pose. She's a little bit crunched in the front pose. And when you look at it, you can see, there's like skin folds in the back. So it's it's like she needs to pull up. You know, I've said that to you guys a lot. Um, and I've said this about several of the girls that have been criti critiquing their poses. When I see them in their front pose or when they're transitioning into their front pose and they're just crunched a little bit in that waistline, you see all those skin folds in that lower back. And that doesn't show the shape quite right. So with her, she just needs to pull up. Um, and if she pulls up, that's also going to help her to kind of relax that arm a little bit and make the shoulder pop a little bit more too. So, uh, her legs look, are looking a little bit thin too, which is probably partly because she's been competing a lot, you know, trying to get that Olympia qualification from the, again, this is all from the front, from the back. I think she looked good. I think from the back, her pose was good. Her, her glutes are nice and full, all of that. Most of the stuff that she's got to work on has to do with her, the front of her. And she is on the taller side of the competitors too. So when you start losing a little bit of that leg, you start losing a little bit of that curve. So that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I just, again, front pose, I just like to see her pull up a little bit more um, and not really crunch into it quite so much. Um, I will say though, I, I liked her makeup at this show. Alessia is one that has an issue a lot of times with having some bad makeup. And I've said that several times, but I actually really liked this makeup look on her. So whatever you did here, Alessia, if you happen to watch this, do the same thing for your makeup from now on, because that was actually a really good look for you. Um, popped your face, popped your eyes. That was, that was good. Whatever was, whatever you did here, do that again. <laughs> um, next we're going to go to Phoebe, Phoebe Hagen. So Phoebe, um, took fourth. Um, now we talked about Phoebe the last couple of shows, if she could find like a happy medium between, um, being too soft on the lower half and small on the upper half and all this stuff, right? Um, this is as close as she's gotten to the happy medium. So her upper body was nice and full, which was good. Um, lower half, actually, I really looking at comparison shots. I really liked her back shot, except she's just a touch too soft. She's just a touch too soft. Um, but she really rivals Laura Lee in the glutes when it comes to the actual shape of her back pose, the shape of her glutes, um, the shape of her waistline into her, her upper body actually looks really, really good. She's just a touch too soft to the hamstrings. Um, so just gotta figure that out because the shape, like I said, that shape, like when you put her next, if you look at the, if you look at the comparison shots on NPC News Online, you put the two of them next to each other, um, Phoebe's shape is really, really pretty. So it's just a matter of getting that tight enough in the back. Um, cause Laura Lee definitely beat her on the tightness when it came to that. Um, which brings us next to Lucia. So Lucia ended up in third. Um, Lucia's just got to find a look and stick with it, man. Every time she gets on stage, she changes something about her presentation. Um, I wasn't a fan of the pink suit. Those of you guys that know me, you know that I don't like blondes and pink. <laughs> That's like a big no-no. I don't like blondes and pink. Um, you know, she's gone to this blonde. Uh, I liked her hair look that she had at Sacramento better than her hair look here. The curls were just a little bit too tight and you could tell when her where her hair ended and the extensions began. So what she did at Sacramento was better with her hair. And also the blue suit in Sacramento was better too. Um, I'm not a fan of the pink and I'm just, I'll just, I'll always, I'll die by that. Blondes and pink are just way too Barbie and it's just too much to me. It's just too much. Um, so I wanted to go back to the blue <laughs> the blue is her color, right? Um, and then when you look at her lower half, her lower half is just a little bit soft still, 
right? Ever since Olympia, she's been just a little bit too soft. And because she does carry quite a bit of mass on her lower half, she's got to be careful about that. She's got to be careful about, about getting too soft in the lower half. So she does need to tighten up. She's probably just, again, getting tired. This is like her fourth show since the Olympia or something like that. So every one of these girls has been competing nonstop trying to get points and get Olympia qualifications and stuff. So it, it catches up to you after a while, right? Um, what do you suggest for redheads? Depends on the girl and depends on the skin tone. Uh, I always, I always look at the girl as a whole, not just the, the, the not just the hair. Um, but usually I'll put redheads in purples and greens and things like that. It tends to look good. Purples and greens. But again, depends on the hair tone or sorry, skin tone and eye tone too. All of that stuff go, goes into it. Um, but yeah, so with Lucia, just got to get tighter, man. When you got that much mass on your lower half, you have to be tight. You have to be conditioned um, or it's going to really show. And I think that's what hurt her here, specifically when we're talking about going to second place, which was Danny Phelps. Now, we talked about Danny last week and how, you know, she came in a second call out with her first time back on stage after three years off, which was a really good showing as it was. My critiques of her at Sacramento was that her glutes were not full enough and she looked really leg heavy in her back pose. I thought that her front pose looked great, um, but her tan was really messed up too. So tan was much better at this show. I think she did it herself. Like we were talking about the tanning solution stuff to, to, solutions to tanning problems. Um, she, I believe she tanned herself for this show, which looked a lot better. She could still stand to be darker. She was a little bit, um, on the orange side where everybody else next to her in that, um, front, that first call out were more brown. So she needs to change a little bit of the, of the, the formulation. Maybe she needs to use a different type of tanner or something like that to get her a little bit darker, but this was a thousand times better than what she had last week because last week her glutes were green and we couldn't even see past that. You know what I mean? So this was much, much better. So that was really good. Uh, still just needs to tweak it a little bit to get the right coloring, but overall much better job on the tan. Um, front pose still looks great. I thought her front pose last week looked great too. There was nothing wrong with her front pose to, to begin with. And her back pose, she really fixed it this week. Um, she went from looking like she was very leg dominant last week. And if you remember, if you were on our re review last week, I said a lot of this can be fixed just with her posing tweaks and, and filling out her glutes. Um, and that's what they did for this show. Her glutes were a whole lot fuller. Um, and she pulled her legs, her toes and everything in a little bit to bring her legs down. So when you look at her back pose, you look at her glutes versus looking at her legs. Um, conditioning was right on. And again, she was nice and full. Uh, I think she had the same kind of conditioning she had last week. It's just that her glutes were filled out this week versus last week. They weren't. And she posed differently this week. Um, cause she had pH issues messing up the color of the tan. Um, that last week, yes. And actually I spoke to, um, some of the tanning people last week and, um, it wasn't, I don't think it was the competitor's fault last week. I think it was probably the people actually spraying them and also not the tanning solution fault either. It was, uh, it was the people actually spraying. Um, I spoke to a couple of the competitors and everything like that and, and got some, got some information as far as what was going on and all that, that kind of thing. So, um, last week I don't think was an, was an issue on the pH. It could have been a little bit, but I don't think it was, I think it was the solution or the people that were actually spraying. Um, just like anything else, you can have great, you can have great makeup, but if the artist doesn't know how to apply it correctly, it can end up being really bad makeup. <laughs> all right. So same concept here, same thing that happened here. I believe that's what happened last week. Um, but this week, again, she's a very fair-skinned girl. Very, very light. Just like me. <laughs> and when that's the case, you have to play with these tanning solutions and find what's going to work best for you. Because you're not going to get as dark as somebody who has a naturally darker skin tone. Um, so you just need to really play with it. So if I was her, I would play around with a couple of different different solutions and see what works best for her. Again, this was a lot better. It went on even. Um, it wasn't distracting, uh, but she was still a little bit light in comparison to the other girls. Uh, and it just was, again, just a little bit off tone from, from the other girls. So she just needs to play with it a little bit more. Now, I don't think, even if she got her tan perfect and it was the perfect color and everything, I don't think it would have made her beat Laura Lee. So regardless this was an up, this was an uptick from what she did last week. You know what I mean? So, um, she's very, very close to, you know, where she needs to be as far as winning a show. Um, 
honestly, I, I'm, I'm just happy with the, with the changes. I mean, at this point, the only thing I would look at for her as far as changing would be to get that tan a little bit darker. That's the only thing I would really change. I think her front pose is right on. I think now her back pose is on, her glutes are full, all of that. So in general, this girl has had, a, has had a phenomenal shape since she first went pro. Back when she first went pro, I did a whole post about her and everything too because I thought she looked phenomenal even then. Um, and not only is her shape amazing, but she's also beautiful in the face as well. So she's just got an overall really, really good look for this particular division. So with her, it's just going to be a matter of time. It's just going to be a matter of time and figuring out these little things, like just figuring out the tan situation. You know what I mean? So, no, that was that was, that was a good good job by her, for sure. Um, she could probably stand to fill out a little bit more in the glutes, but honestly, she was pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. And I think maybe if she got a little darker in her tan, that would probably fix that, too. So, um, and again, like we were talking about Laura Lee at the very beginning of this. Um, I do think that this was one of her best looks this year um, between last week and this week. I really think that, that she hit her mark. You know what I mean? Um, she looks balanced. Her back pose in this particular show looks really balanced in comparison to what it used to look like. She still has phenomenal glutes, but they're not overpowering. Um, she looks like she's got a great V taper from her shoulders into her waistline, into her glutes. Legs look like they've been, they look proportionate. You know, that was something that, again, I critiqued her on last, uh, earlier this year, that her just legs look too small in comparison. Now she looks proportionate. Um, and again, from the front, like I said, that, that, that concept of the one thing I really noticed at this show and, and starting last show too, is that her rib cage isn't poking out like it was, um, in, in some shows. That was something that my eye would always go to, you know what I mean? So I think this is a great way for her to end out her season. I know, again, going back to what we were saying at the beginning of this, she had to deal with a lot the last couple of months. So kudos to her. And um, and she really she really did a good job in pulling out this this uh, this last win for the for the year. So um, like I said, I assume she's probably going to take a little bit of a break and then go to the Arnold. That's what I would assume. Um, and probably try to win a title. You know, at that at this point, she's won a bunch of big titles. And the only ones she hasn't won have been the Arnold and the Olympia. So I'm guessing that's what she's coming for next. <laughs> you know? So guessing. Just saying. Um, so really good uh, really good showing all over, all the way around. And again, the, the, the judging was right on. I mean, it really was. It was right on. So um, so that's our, our shows for this week. Any questions, you guys? I, I, as always, type in your questions as we go along. Any questions you, that you guys have from anything that we mentioned from these these shows this week? As Jen Dory said, of doing the Arnold. Um, I, I've, I've heard her talk about, yes, that she wants to do it. I mean, things can always change, obviously. But I think she even said that at the seminar, seminar the Sunday seminar after Olympia. I, think, I believe she mentioned she wanted to defend her title this year. So I would assume so. If I just won it, I would do it the next year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wouldn't sit it out. You know, I would go back and try to defend my title. That's me. Um, what do you mean when you say shape your body when you were talking about wellness? Um, it's hard for me to describe other than you just need to have an aesthetic flow to your, to your frame. Um, a good example of somebody who did not have that for a while and then fixed it was uh, Latoria Watts. For those of you that are figure people, when she first came out on the pro scene, all you could see on her were, were her delts. She like had the most amazing delts, but because she had these amazing delts, you missed the rest of her body, right? So everybody always say that. They would critique that her delts were just incredible but she needs to get flow to her physique and become a have flow up and down around and back and forth to her to her body um and over the course of her pro career she she did that and ended up winning the olympia title and figure you know by doing that but when she first came out on the scene that was one of the things that was her biggest critique that she just looked like a collection of parts versus a body that flowed together and created an aesthetically pleasing shape you know, Laura Lee is a good example of somebody this year, when she first got on stage at the beginning of this year, she, her glutes were too big. That's somebody that needs to refine her shape. And she did that throughout the season. Laura Lee did that throughout the season, right? She created a more aesthetic flow to her shape, right? When you have a collection of parts, they don't all go together. You gotta make them flow together, right? 
Could you post a comparison picture of Laura Lee? This, uh, I, sorry, typos. I don't know what you mean. Your YouTube video needs what you mean. I, sorry. I, a ri oh, ribs poking. Okay, got it. Yeah. Mm hmm. I will. Yep. I understand. Okay, good. Hope that made sense. It just, in general, when you're looking at physiques, you look at the flow of the physique. Everything needs to balance, it needs to complement each other, right? Um, that's where you create these beautiful aesthetic lines, right? So, but yeah, I'll, I'll post up a comparison of the rib cage. I'll do that. I'll do that for sure. Between the show and like some of the other ones where she's been a little bit too sucked in, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys have a great night and I'll be back Wednesday. We'll say Wednesday. All right. And that's going to do it for this episode of BSPN. Thank you guys so much again for watching and your support. Please comment, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when these videos go up live. And we'd love to have you on live on Instagram too. Join us there at Sean's Couture. We'll see you back here next time. Thank you.